Today, guys, I have a plan in mind. I've been pretty lacking in the Bandos gear, but today, I am not leaving this place until I have a drop. Okay, I'm ready for my first trip at Bandos. Hopefully, you get some drops today. Okay, very fast kill. That's a good start. And what do we get? Uh... Well, it's alright, I suppose. Okay, so my first trip was four kills, which is pretty decent, honestly. I'm happy with that. Three of the kills were very good. Kills are extremely quickly, but one of them I just didn't hit anything, and it drained all my food. Oh shit, we just got a God Sword Shard 1 from a minion. Nice. I think I've already got um, one of these, but I mean, hey, I need at least four overall, so I'll take that. The Bandos play body. And we get a hard clue scroll from a minion as well. Neat. The second Bandos played body. Huh. Turns out I actually had three God Sword Shard ones already. So that makes four. So I don't actually need any other God Sword Shard ones. I've got one God Sword Shard two and no God Sword Shard three. So I want to get a God Sword Shard three, please. Yay, we actually completed a clue scroll for one. So let's uh, go check this out. Third age, please. Uh, yeah, close enough. I am getting all the supplies in the world right now. <laughs> Although, the unfortunate part is it always happens right at the start of the trip. I don't need any of them. Shark. Pog. Okay, I wasn't recording it, but that trip was scary. I was just like an absolute constant barrage of range hits, and the minions were like maxing every time. Uh, it's probably the closest I've come to dying a bando, so though. I still don't think it was a chance, because I like to safe up quite a bit, so... Still scary. <laughs> There is Grado kill number 333. No drops yet, unfortunately. Okay, so something bizarre just happened. I don't really have an explanation for it, but it is kind of worrying. So there I was, outside the Bandos room, ready to go in. I had my 40 kill count. And then I started getting attacked by one of the minions. And I was confused because I have a Zami item and a Bandos item, so none of them should be attacking me. I didn't see any of them look like they were attacking me, but there was like a projectile flying at me. So I went over to um, have a look, see what it was, and I just got logged out. No, like, connection lost message or anything, just straight up logged out. Which is not something you want to see when you're about to go into Bando. So I logged in, teleported out, but I have, like, no idea what that was. But it's a little concerning, because I don't want to get locked out of Bando, so I might leave it for today. I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully it doesn't happen. So, yeah, I don't know what happened, it's weird. Okay, holy shit, what the fuck? I just got a Bandos chestplate from a minion. The ranged minion, I just got the Bandos- What the fuck? How rare is that? I'd like, I definitely didn't get it from the, um... Yeah, I just got a coins drop, what the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, I got a heal, I'm uh... I'm kind of flailing here. You know what, I'm just gonna tea. I'm just gonna teleport out because I've not got much food left, but what the shit? I was not expecting that at all. I've got to look at the drop rate of this. That is insane. 1 in 16,256. Now, because I've got about 300 Bandos kills, 340, I'd have probably killed like a thousand minions. So I'm like 16 times under the drop rate. That's insane. That definitely more than makes up for the, uh, the dry streak I was getting on Bandos. Jesus. And that's like probably, I mean, other than the Tassets, that's like the best thing I could get. This replaces the Torso. That's probably what I wanted the most, to be honest, out of all the items I could get, so... That is, uh, that is ridiculous. I'm uh, very happy with that. Let's see, I'm guessing it just comes under... Yeah, it comes under General Thrado still. Good, but yeah, minion. <laughs> okay, so because I've got my Bandos item here now, I no longer need the World Blessing, so I can put my Raider's Blessing on, and that's an extra prayer point. And because I also get a prayer point from the Bandos Chestplate, I'm thinking I might be able to replace the Varex Helm here with a Guthans Helm. It's got less prayer bonus. But I get more range defense, so, and that's where most of the damage comes from, 415 range defense. This is one hell of a setup. Big spec. There is kill number 350. So, when I've not been killing Bandos, I've been busy doing some farming contracts and herb runs, and I've managed to get 67 snake grass seeds. I'm not sure that if that's going to be enough. But I do already have some planted. I've got 800 snake grass already. And let's see how many Renars I've got. 1600. So it might be enough. I'm going to do a herb run with them. And I've also been planting some torstals. 
And I've got um, almost 2,000 of them, so that should be plenty of super combats. I probably won't use them all for that, but uh, yeah, I'll definitely be able to stock up quite a bit. And I'll probably use my Max of Grace up and make some stamina potions as well, and because I'm getting not, not like low on them, but I could definitely get more. Alright, so I planted snapegrass seeds in every single patch this time. I harvested my old ones, and I got 402 snapegrass for 30 seeds. That's a pretty good deal, if you ask me. Okay, for the next farm run, we've got a bit of a 300, so... I don't know if I got lucky the first time. 324, almost 100 less. But that's still pretty good. Uh, I am almost out of seeds, though. I reckon what I'm probably going to have to do is get like enough seeds for one more um, herb run and then I'm probably good on prior potions for a while because you get a lot of snake grass doing this. Okay, just had a big leg spike at Bandos. Ooh, that was scary. I had clue scroll from a minion here. You know, without a sleep teleport, this has got to be the most annoying hard clue in the game. So you've got to go all the way from Versinaza, that teleport with the Draken's Medallion, like here, that's the fastest one I can think of anyway. And I guess I could... Could this one come from Port Fast Matters? Maybe that'd be slightly faster, but I've got to go all the way up here, in here, and then I've got to go all the way through here and up here, and that's like the fastest route I can find. I should probably actually look at this fastest one, but that one takes a while. I am hoping this is the reward. It's not. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, take your damn clue. I have to say, I'm loving this winter update for the HD plugin. God Wars Dungeon looking pretty cool too. Just gonna grab a kill number 375 with the rune battle axe drop. Okay, bro, what the fuck was that? Why do I keep lagging here? I don't know if it's the servers. Because my internet seems fine generally, but... Dude, I just want to kill Grad. Oh man, why do I keep having to get in these scary disconnections? Yeah, that was like the worst trip of Bandus ever. Couldn't even get a single kill. You just get, it felt like spamming range attacks that time, I guess. Okay, so I've been putting it off for a bit, but I've only got five super combat potions left, so it's time I just made them all now. Um, 2,128 torstals, although I think the only other thing I'd use them for other than super combats is anti-venoms, which I don't think I really need many of. I've got a Serp Helm, so yeah, I'll probably make maybe like 2,000 of these into super combats, and then, you know, that'll last ages. Just at level 95 Herblore, making super combat potions here. I honestly think I have, like, almost 99 herbal or banked but there's not really much point in me go going for it straight away because i don't think there's much point in the cape so i'll just keep making the potions i need and i'll keep making progress slowly and that should be all the super combats made so i've got over 2,000 of them now uh, it took a little longer than i expected to make them all just because you can only do seven at a time but i don't think i'll need to make more for quite some time i think all that's left now is i'll make some prayer potions and i should be good on supplies for a while so I normally make the unfinished potions myself manually, but I think I've got enough cash to justify um, having Zahir here make them for me. And I really can't be bothered making them myself anymore, so there we go, 1600 unfinished Renar potions. I am running low on amulets of chemistry, and I think prayer potions are something it's definitely worth using on, so time to make some more. That's all the prayer potions made, okay let's go decant these. Okay, so I brought a few other random potions as well to decant while I'm here, so turn them into four doses. And that's 1100 extra prayer potions, so that's good. Really? An uncut ruby? That was like the most annoying kill ever. I, go, I went through every single food item I had for one kill there at the start and I got an uncut ruby. I'm pretty sure that's super rare. <laughs> Okay, so I looked it up and the ruby is 1 in 625, which isn't as bad as I thought it would be, but that's still rarer than any Bandos item, so not cool. And there is Bandos kill number 400. It's quite a milestone. I'm glad I got the uh, Bandos chestplate from the minion, but it is kind of strange that I've not got a single drop from the big boy himself, but we'll see. I 
don't really want to know how rad those are. Oh shit, just got a God of Sword Shard too. I don't think that's the one I, I need, but I'm pretty sure I still need more of them. I think it's the God of Sword Shard 1 that I've got like four of or something like that, so yeah, I'll take it. I'll have to check though. Jesus. I don't think I needed to teleport there, but what was that stack of damage? That hurt. So yes, it looks like I did need a God Sword Shard too, um, because I only had one and I need up to four to make as many God Swords as I could. I don't need any more Shard 1s, and I would like a Shard 3. I don't have a hilt yet, but you know, whenever I get a hilt, I'd like to be able to just make it. That would be cool. Ooh, we got an elite clue scroll from Bandos on kill number 425. Hopefully we get a Bandos item at some point, because it's uh, it's been a while since the last one. Oh, okay, we get a casket from a crocodile here. Let's see what we get. The absolute trash, okay. Bro, I'm actually such a fucking idiot. I don't know if you noticed there, but I didn't have Protect from Melee on at the start of that kill. Now, I was pretty high HP and I noticed, you know, fairly quick, but still, that's just... I've never done that before. I don't know why I did not remember to put my Protect from Melee on, but that is sketchy. Okay, I'm going to go repair my Crystal Shield and take a second because, jeez, I need to get my head in the game. Okay, so I just dismantled my Crystal Shield. I think I just need to talk to Ilfine here. And yeah, 150k. So I think that's the cheapest now. I think that's the first time I've got it for the cheapest, so not bad. Well, I think that'll be enough bandos for today's video. I was hoping to get more drops. Uh, I've not got one from the big guy himself, but the bandos chest plate is probably the best thing we could have got. Really got that from a minion, so that's pretty exciting. And yeah, I'm not sure how long of a break I'm going to take from bandos, but I'm sure it won't be too long because I do need those tacits, but I'll probably be back to a regular slayer for a little bit. And yeah, see you in the next episode.